Hi, hello, I'm Drummerhead and today I'm gonna show you Dminer. Dminer is a, is a script, it's an algorithm for solving the non-ambiguous cases of Minesweeper. That sounds a little bit scary, but <laughs> I'm gonna just explain it to you. Uh, a little bit of history, and while I'm, I'm talking about this history, I'm gonna be playing Minesweeper. Minesweeperonline.com, it's just a, a website, it's got Minesweeper. So Minesweeper is a game that I really liked. I've been playing this game since I since I'm 10 years old. I had a really crappy computer with Windows 95, and I had Solitaire and Minesweeper, and those were games that I I, I played because I had them re readily available. And Minesweeper is, is a game that involves logic and it's got a grid, and I like grids. I, I've come to find out. And it's soothing, it's a soothing game. You just get into a zone and then you just start playing. You can be completely out of your mind and, and still be able to play Minesweeper as I found out. Because your mind just does it. Just Your mind follows an algorithm that's pretty basic and just does the things on its own. In some cases you have to guess on the non-ambiguous cases. But in cases like this I got a 4 here and I got four mines and it's four mines. I got a two and it's got two mines and what's here? Nothing's here. The one, nothing's here. Okay. That's logical. Right there I made a mistake. I mean I made a guess. The four could be here, I mean the mine could be here or here. And I just guessed it. And I was wrong. The mine was actually there. And one day I was playing Minesweeper well, this game that I really like. I mean, and this, uh, what I like about this side is that it's got the classic Windows 95 style of Minesweeper, like, like when I was a kid. And I was thinking, well, all these processes that my mind is doing, can't I just script that and basically ruin the game <laughs> for me? So I, I just run a script and have all these ambiguous cases, uh, non ambiguous cases, solved for me. And well, that's exactly what I did. I wrote a script that I'm going to show you later uh, and that I'm going to use right now to show you how much of an improvement this gives you, this makes. So as a human, as, as a regular human, um, my best times for like expert is 120 seconds, like two minutes of playing. In two minutes, sort of, I can uh, solve an expert board if I'm in the zone and stuff. With the script, I've reached a record of four seconds. Okay, I can solve it in four seconds. That even breaks the time of Camille Muransky, who is an expert minesweeper. I think he's got 30 seconds uh, as, as, as a regular human, of course, not with, a, with the aid of a script. I'm gonna show you this script. It's a bookmarklet. You can use it directly on minesweeperonline.com. If you feel like uh, having the aid of a script, some might call it cheating, and I, I wouldn't argue. <laughs> so I got two here. I'm gonna delete this one because that's an example. The minor, I just click on it. It doesn't matter the name. Then I'm gonna show you how to get it. And now I have an open here. I have opportunities. There's a one here that obviously has got a mine. There's a one here that obviously got a mine. So after you click on the bookmarklet, now you have the J letter on your keyboard that you can use to initiate the script. So I'm gonna press J now. Okay, the script found those two. I'm gonna guess that there's a mine there. I'm gonna press J again. And the script takes, takes care of all the non-ambiguous cases. So I'm gonna click there, I'm gonna press J. Okay, I'm gonna click here and press J. And you get the feeling. Then I make a mistake because I'm a fucking human. Press J, let's see how this goes. There, you saw that the script takes care of clicking. It's actually em emulating the clicks. It's creating a click event and doing it, and and clicking on, on all the places where it knows that there's a mine because there's no other option. But now there's all the cases left are ambiguous. There could be mines or there couldn't be mines anywhere. So I'm gonna guess that there's a mine here. I'm gonna press J again, and well, I'm gonna continue to do so. I'm gonna try to guess, and then I lost, because there was an actual MI. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna play like this until I win once or twice, while you're listening to some soothing music. I'm gonna leave you to that. Ah, sorry, one of, one of the interesting things about this script is, 
well as you saw the borders of the of the board get red when the script is working and green when it's like not working anymore uh, but you can also interact with the board as as the script is working so I could be like okay and I made a mistake but uh, if you find a place where there's a pool of opportunity but the script is already working somewhere else you can also interact with the board so I'm gonna leave you to nice music and me playing with the script Okay, now that, now that you saw me won some games, now that you saw the flow of it, I'm gonna show you how you can get this uh, this script. I'm gonna delete it from here, just take it away, I don't have it anymore. And I'm gonna reload the site. Then if I press J, I don't have anything, anything at all. So you go... You go here, you go to github.com slash drummerhead slash dminer. And in the readme, basically, it explains everything you gotta do. You gotta go to. I'm gonna close the stuff. I'm gonna, you gotta go click this link and click this other link. This is the script, minified JavaScript. If you go to raw, you just come on day and you copy it all and you paste it over here or mcdlr become js inject and you, then you put a name on it like the minor i'm gonna put it you click generate bookmarklet and then you have this link and you just click it and drag it over here and you have it you have it working I click it j and then you have it it's working you can play like this you can have fun or you can have lack of fun however you want to call it I think it's nice to see the script working I did it in such a way that you saw it 
working because I could have done it in, in, in another way in which you it just waits and when it when when it understands that there are no more cases like for instance like this it would just show with this without the process but I like to I like to see how it thinks in a way and the actual source of this if you want to see how this was made you go to app scripts <coughs> The miner that coffee, and then you have the nicely commented file that explains everything that's going on. <coughs> These are several functions composed together that do different things. They take things and they give things. It's using jQuery because well, this site is already has jQuery, so I don't have to to. I just use the jQuery that's also already on the site, and I have several functions that are commented. I think that the only like interesting uh, thing about this this algorithm is that it's got a fertility uh, a factor to avoid recalculating things over and over. If I didn't have this, uh, the longer it's calculating and the more squares are open, it, the slower it would be. But what I'm doing is I'm marking cases like, for instance, this three is already already has all these neighbors done, so. It's unfertile. I, I can't do anything else with this three, so I don't have to reanalyze it. So what the script does is it, it passes through all the open squares like this, and it checks to see whether their number equals to a mine or an open space. So this one has a, a mine. So what, what the script is gonna do is click on here, I click on here, and uh, just do that several times until it understands that there are no more changes in the board. It, it understands that basically because it stores one run and then stores it again and then checks it and if they are the same, it understands that, well, there's nothing else to do and then it just stops. And then I won again. It says 54 seconds because I was idling. And well, this is it, this is the script. You can download it, you can play, you can analyze it, you can be a jQuery master, you can impress your friends, you can uh, win happiness, I don't know. You can do things, I guess. And well, I hope you have a nice, a nice day and everything is well and good and happiness overflows your existence. Bye-bye.